think that's all I wanted. Oh, no, no. I also want to talk about one other thing. Let me get some conscious coffee here. Let's get conscious right now. This is a negative subject. This might be triggering to some of you. And if it is, I understand. Pop off. No problem. But there's something pretty big happening out here on the planet, especially in America and in Western countries. There is something big happening, getting the chills, thank you spirit, about to go down. And it's gonna be really gross. It's gonna be really ugly. It's gonna be horrifying and repugnant. It's gonna blow our minds, but it's what we need. It's what we need. And we're already seeing it. They're resisting, but it's coming. And this is the unveiling of the pedophile network in Hollyweird and also in politics. Lots of politicians involved in this as well. Now I'm not talking uh, conspiracy theory stuff. No, this is actually happening. I don't want to send you to any resources where you can look into this, but pedophilia, abusing children, abusing kids, abusing women has been a staple in Hollywood for decades. So much so that at least by the 80s, 90s, 70s, there was a pedophile network. Like there was a network of directors, producers, money people who worked on movies and TV that created a ring where they would traffic in children and abuse them. These people are sick. Now, Human Crystal, whose father liked to use nunchucks and had a violence tendency. Human Crystal really doesn't, really, I don't like it, right? We all, a lot of us have kids. I really, I get in my flesh about it. I'm like, they don't need to be on this planet. Get them off the planet. Or let's have the purge pedophiles, not the purge anarchy, let's have the purge pedophiles. Because in my spiritual and physical awareness, I can't reconcile pedophilia and the abuse of children with uh, processing out of it. I don't, I don't think statistically there's like a lot out there that would say that, that pedophiles can be treated and not go back to it. I think it's possible. This is one of those areas, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. This is one of those areas because, he, see, we're always called to forgive. We're always called not to judge, but we have to use discernment. We're always called to be operating in love, but where do the pedophiles fall there? You know, my father, <sighs> monstrous personality such as he was, his motto with people who truly corrupted the fabric of consciousness was kill, kill, kill. Where's the button? Let me I'm, nuke, gone off the planet. So that's probably where I get that from. But I don't know what to feel about that. I, I don't really care to think about their process or their healing. Woo, that means I got to do some work around that because everybody should be healed. Everybody should be brought into the light. But um, I do feel super awesome about the dam that's about to break. It's already starting. You know, when water's pushing and pushing, it hasn't broke yet, but ooh, it's gaining force. It's gaining steam. That's happening right now. There's a lot of people in the light, a lot of people in the light working to bring this out into the light so we can, well, purge it, but we can get rid of it. We can purify, purify, re return balance unto the system. It's happening. Now, these pedophile rings are connected to the rich, connected to what some would call the cabal, the Illuminati, the 1%. You know, we have all these fear purveyors out there talking about living in a dark matrix with reptilian overlords. Who am I to say? Um, but it's usually connected to a lot of money and usually connected 
to the rich. And see, there's also disparity in this world, isn't there? Between the rich and the poor. And there's such a divide between the wealth of the wealthiest and everybody else. Not just in third world countries, not just in impoverished spaces, but in America. There is a huge divide between me and what the wealthiest of the wealthy actually have and do not share. For the most part, maybe, what's that guy's name? It's escaping me, Bill Gates. He's very charitable. There's a lot of charitable rich people. There's nothing wrong with money. It's the love of money that is the root of all evil. It's not money. Money's great. Money facilitates. In fact, money is an energy that we came here to experience and learn how to use in an ethical way with integrity. So I like money. It helps me to do things, okay? But it's just a tool. That's all it is. And so there are a lot of wealthy people who absolutely help, but there are a lot of wealthy people who don't, who hoard the money, who keep the money, and who purvey in these deep, dark, demonic spaces of our society. I use the word demonic not to talk about actual mythological demons, but rather the antithetical oppositional energy of these people and what they're doing. Antithetical to source, antithetical to love. And it's happening and it's been going on for a long time. The Harvey Weinstein stuff came up, right? And we're all horrified. I mean, I guess we've all heard about the casting couch and we kind of knew that that might have happened, but none of us knew the scale and scope of what these actresses had to endure as if it's part of the vetting process. And it's good and Holly Weird is gonna readjust and realign and it's in the process of doing that now, but it's also spilling over into corporate America and other areas where there's power imbalance. Even though we have a lot of people right now who are bandwagoning, meaning I'm jumping on this bandwagon and I'm judging that person, that person did wrong, they should lose their job, they should be punished. We have a lot of people bandwagoning right now and making it worse and staying in an energy of negativity, which makes it worse. But what that indicates is a pendulum swing. Pendulum was over here in Holly weird and pedophilia and rape and abuse and predatory behavior. It has swung. They're still there, by the way, they're hiding, they're hiding. But where the darkness lives, where the darkness hides, it's never safe because the light shines into the darkness and the darkness can't even comprehend it. These people, we're getting at the low level ones right now, we go much higher than this. These people are finding themselves in the light, not in their consciousness or vibration, but the light's being shined into the dark spaces. And so we're dealing with the low levels, but we are heading in the direction of the bigger, the more disgusting, the more demonic. Spiritual people don't always like to talk about the world and all the things we say. I I know it's happening, but like, I don't want to focus on it because then I get down and then I'm like, then I'm, then I'm just down and I'm not helping. Fair. You should never immerse yourself in a cause or a project or a subject to the degree that you allow your vibration to change. But we also have to be aware of the condition because we're here to change it. You and I are the way showers. We're here to shine those lights. We're here to be the light. When we're the light, when we occupy the light and then go to work, go to our family, help our children, help the community, when we just stand in our light and go to the grocery store, We are changing other people and the space. We are changing the planet. This is why I talk, I want people to listen and hear and find out how they can help. You don't have to be a law enforcement officer to take down Harvey Weinstein. You can just be wherever you are and hold the light and let it shine. The light knows how to do what the light knows how to do. God knows how to do what God knows how to do. As a consciousness, we're ready to purify. This is a great thing. Even though what we see is gonna be despicable, okay? Despicable. 
We're seeing it because we're clearing it. And that's how we heal. We can't heal if we don't know what's wrong or out of alignment. So we will be hearing about this. We already are hearing about this. Go on Reddit, people. We already are hearing about this and who these people are and good, good. Not in a vengeful way because humans don't know how to handle vengeance because they're human in, in this reality. But good, good, let it be so. Let it be so and then on to the next. Let's get into the areas where we are out of alignment. Let's get into the areas where there is unfairness and inequity and let that light shine and let it shine through me. Let it shine through my love. Let it shine through my life and let the right thing be done. That's what I say and I speak it into existence. Say yes to that. Say it with your mouth. Yes, I agree with that because where two or more are gathered, their source is in the midst of them. And I'm here. Are you here? I dare say we're all here. And so let's light this bugger up. We are living in interesting times. I've been saying all along, if you were born at this time, you came here to shift it, my friend. You came here to change it. Some of us will be activists. Some of us will be the ones to change it. Actually, others are just gonna be holding space going, yes, yes, for the massive correction. Yes, it is time, yes. That's what we're seeing, it's really good news. So don't be disheartened by what you're gonna see in the news. Don't be disheartened by the purge of the darkness. It must happen in order for us to find our equilibrium, find our balance and head into this new earth that all of us want to co-create together. We are the engineers, like Prometheus. No, we're not. We are the engineers of the new peace. We are the engineers of the new world. We are the engineers of the new countries. We are the engineers of all of it. That's how powerful we are. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? That's how powerful you are. And you can be a stay-at-home mom living in the country of wherever Ohio and do your part by figuring out for yourself what fills you with light and love. What makes you happy, my friend? Is it... I don't know, is it just being with your children? Is it cooking? Is it reading books, learning, study, knowledge? Is it movement, dance, resonance? What is it that just makes you vibrate on the inside? I like to call this the zing zing. It's the breadcrumb that we feel when we're being led in the right direction. That's the breadcrumb, that's the path to the light. Follow it, Joseph, Joseph Campbell said. Follow your bliss. This is what he means. What brings you joy, no matter how mundane, is your path. Do it. Hold the light. Hold the space. All of us together as there's a massive realignment coming. And it's been happening. And it's going to continue to happen. Let me end by saying, don't be one of those people who bandwagon. Don't be one of those people who witch hunt. That's wrong. Don't be one of those people who buy into the divisiveness, the separation. Don't get all crazy about identity politics, colors of skin. Don't be mad at a whole race of people or a whole kind of person, Democrat, Republican, black persons, black people, white people. Like, there's, like they're pitting us against each other, especially black and white. That's big right now. And I see a lot of identity politics in reaction to that. A lot of people hating white people and a lot of people hating black people. Hate will never cure hate. Only love will do that. And so don't find yourself caught up when you feel you're getting triggered because you're buying into the political theater of it all, what they want, what they, what they want us to do. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check yourself, get back into the light. Oh yeah, what was that thing that turns you on? What was that thing that lights you up? Was it cooking, was it moving, was it do that? When you find yourself wanting to witch hunt, wanting to get the torches, who are you to do that? And Jesus was walking and he saw a prostitute on the ground. 
and he saw a circle of men surrounding her, throwing stones. The men who had just used her services. And Jesus stood in front of her and he said, You who are without sin, cast the first stone. And there were no stones after that. I remember so clearly. After the LA riots with Rodney King, being so mad, so overwhelmed and overcome by the injustice of that, just as everyone else was. I felt the same with Cecil the Lion, by the way. I was out of commission for two whole freaking weeks after that. But being so overwhelmed by that and, and seeing the writing on the wall, of course, like there's gonna be a reaction to that, people. Like, this is not okay. And watching the riots, and I remember a gentleman by the name of Reginald Denny. Do you remember him? He happened to be driving his truck, his business truck, making a delivery, going somewhere, driving through, I want to say Watts, I don't know, could have been somewhere else. And they actually, people actually stopped his truck, opened his door, grabbed him, threw him on the ground, and beat the shit out of him. Fucking terrible. And you know, I've looked for the next thing I'm gonna tell you online, I can't find it. I'm wondering if I have misremembered, but I don't think so. Beat the hell out of him, oh my God. And then, all of a sudden, appeared a man, a black man. And I wanna see, I wanna say he had a Bible and he held it up in front of those kids and he said, stop it. What are you doing? This is wrong. And that black man was the good Samaritan who helped that white man. I mean, does anybody else remember that? Am I thinking of something different? A different riot, a different protest, but that's who we are. That's who we are. And there was a man on a roadway who was ambushed, beaten, and left for dead. Beaten hard, beaten bad, left for dead. And a rich man walked by on the path and saw him there. And he kept walking. I don't want any part of that. I don't know, are these guys still around? I don't really want any freaking part of that. The next man who walked down the path was a priest. And the priest saw the man and he kept walking. <laughs> I don't have time for that. I don't know that guy, I don't know what's going on with that, but it's not my business. That man is not my business. He kept on walking. A third man, who was a Samaritan, and in those days, Samaritans were lower class. If, you know, the Hebrews, Israelites had a caste system, they would have, I mean, in, in their culture, in their community, Samaritans were second class citizens. He was the next man on the path. And he saw the man, and he stopped, and he went to the man. And he said, let me help you. Brother, let me help you. And he tended his wounds and his injuries. He even went so far as to pick the man up, put him on his donkey or his horse, and take him to a nearby inn. And he told the keeper of the inn, take care of this man. I gotta go, I gotta do something, but I'm coming back. I'm gonna be back tomorrow. And I'm, he gave the innkeeper money. He said, here's the money for the stay. And so he can be okay. So this man will be cared for. And if I owe you more because he stays longer, I'll pay it, no problem. The one man whose society would have said had no voice was the one man who helped that person. That's who we are. Feel it? Feel it? That's who we are. Do you see me? 
Do you see me, my spirit? I see you. I see your spirit. You're not your color. You're not your class. You're not your bank account. I see you. I see you. This is who we are. We are that good Samaritan. We are love. We are mercy. We are compassion. And where our peers would stand and rage against the injustice of it all, we pivot this way toward love. And we let that be our message. We let that be our guide. We let that be our response to the inequity. That's who you are. More and more of us need to do that. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the way they're rigging it, the programming in this matrix. Don't believe it. It ain't real. It's not real. What you just felt me say, that's real. You know, I talk about all these metaphysical and spiritual concepts, right? But mainly, we're going toward empowerment of the people, all of us as souls. That's where I'm going with this. Entitled, soul, stand up. You are super consciousness. Now, A lot of people respond to that and they say, okay, yeah, all right, but I don't know if I can believe that. that so it is not. Well, can you give me some proof besides mythology or storytelling that would allow me to believe that? Yes, I can. Did you feel it? Did you feel it? Your spirit will always bear witness to the truth. Your body will always feel the witnessing and your mind and your emotions will respond in kind. If what I say to you shakes you, if what I say to you resonates in you, then you can, you can trust that because it's your own spirit, your own body that's leading you in the direction, the breadcrumbs. Follow that. That's what you have to do. Believe that. You can believe that. If you feel it, man, if you're hearing the truth and you feel it, that's it. You don't need somebody to prove it to you. Okay, as a super consciousness, you don't need that. There's no limitation. Be what you're feeling. Let that be the guide. Because that's how you find your way each and every time. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for joining me for Conscious Coffee. I think we're at an hour. Wow gonna take me forever to upload but I'm gonna do it and when I move we're gonna do this more okay some of you aren't gonna like the longer format that's fine I got other videos for you that's cool but let's connect let's talk let's talk about this we can talk about this let's bring it into the light all right I will see you soon and please never forget that I love you and that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today and so do sunshine and koa well and cool but he's sleeping hey everybody i just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called the lightworkers lab if you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe go to the lightworkerslab.com check us out learn what we're about and learn how you can join or just go to facebook and search the lightworkers lab and ask to join i also wanted to mention that every couple of months i offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class and if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined and to everybody i just want to say that i hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today god bless